Hello and welcome to Auto Trend. I created this channel recently uh, in order to expand my social media presence. I already have uh, this website and you can visit the website in the description below. Uh, the link is there to autotrend.org. If you follow that link, you will end up on this page. This is the general page for the website. This has uh, all the blog posts. Currently, there is only one because it is a work in progress. But this is the blog post we are going to be talking about today and that is the electric trend. I will discuss about that very soon. But if you would like to read it, it uh, briefly describes what the electric trend is and uh, how it affects the auto industry. But in this video, I will specifically describe how it will affect uh, consumers and how it will affect our decisions. So uh, other things on this website, I just want to show you on the general page. If you go to the top left corner, you will see the navigation bar uh, and then you will see contact and home page. So the contact page, it allows you to uh, reach out to me. So feel free to do so with any questions and comments. And the home page, which is below that in the same menu, if you click on that, you'll be able to see why I've created the website and it states the purpose and all that. And the purpose is simply to educate users on uh, these type of decisions. When making major financial decisions, I think it is important to be well informed. So I will try to provide the latest information about the auto industry as I'm uh, an enthusiast of vehicles. So, uh, what is the electric trend? The electric trend is the evolution of the auto industry. Vehicles used to be built with uh, internal combustion engines that are fueled by fossil fuels like petroleum or diesel. Now, they will be built with electric motors that are powered by batteries. So, that completely reduces carbon emissions which is very good for the environment but it's also good for us the consumers because now we don't have to waste time or money at the gas station we can just charge our vehicles at home overnight is very convenient and it reduces our dependency on gas and other fossil fuels so if you are still unsure about purchasing an electric vehicle and you are in the market for a vehicle let me show you some data which may convince you so this is a graph that i've acquired from the u.s energy information administration and it can show you how volatile the gas prices are so it's best to stay away from gas and i i, I think uh, a lot of people have moved away from gas powered vehicles and they've bought electric ones, especially after this last peak, which happened in June 2022, which is when the US had its highest prices ever. So obviously we cannot tell which way the economy is going to go sometimes. So it's best to get something a little more eco-friendly, something more renewable. So if you would like to buy a vehicle, you may be confused about which vehicles to buy. You may not know your options. And I can understand that misconception. It is purely because there's not a lot of companies in the market that are creating electric vehicles. If we look at the sales data from 2020, Tesla was number one, as you can see from the sales. But that is not the case anymore there are other companies that have started building electric vehicles it is no longer just tesla so let me show you the competitors uh, if you are looking for high-end models something more uh, sporty or luxurious that will be audi e-tron gt and the mercedes-benz eqa these are examples of current and upcoming vehicles from this price category these are simply just examples there will be other brands from the same price category that are making electric vehicles but these are just very prominent examples that i've chosen to use 
but uh, that basically describes uh, that there's more than just Tesla. Then uh, if you want something more affordable, there is the Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Honda E. And one other thing that this uh, electric trend has caused is new competitors to enter the marketplace, such as Polestar 1 and Rivian R1T. So now there will be not just many models from pre-existing brands, but there's going to be models from completely new brands to select from. So you are not just stuck with Tesla, for example. So there's a lot of options. My advice to you when picking these uh, options is look at the design, but then also look at other statistics like the charge time and the range. I think that is also very important to consider. Now, I hope this clarified things about the electric trend. Uh, and one last thing to remember, if you are going to order these vehicles, I, I will say, the production capacity is quite low for such vehicles at the time. Uh, resources are very scarce. So it, it's best to assume that you will have to wait six to 12 months for these vehicles to come in. Now I've been to many dealerships and most sales representatives have given me the same number, six to 12 months. So that is the only downside of getting this vehicle, but I think it is definitely a very good long-term investment. Now, I hope this video uh, helped you. And if it has, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.